How to use Slack for communication. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll be talking about the platform Slack and how to use it uh, for communication. That could be any regular communication with your team members. It could be communication with clients. So it's going to work uh, the same way. And I will just go through step by step how to set things up, how to um, just work with Slack to get started with your communication properly. So to get started, you will need to go ahead and navigate to slack.com. Uh, and then from here, you can see, uh, you can just click on get started and create your account for free. Now I need to note that it does make a difference whether you want to use the free version, pro or business plus. Uh, you can feel free to get to this page right here and see which ones suits your business best. Uh, but I'm just going to skip this. I'm not going to talk about everything in here. Uh, just feel free to get to this page and compare things yourself. But to get started, you just simply click on try for free. And then you will need to just go ahead and sign up. You can you just sign up using, using your email or you can just continue with Google like I'm about to do. Uh, regardless, it's going to be a very simple uh, signing up process, just a regular one, nothing too crazy. Uh, and I will meet you when I get to the dashboard. So I'm just going to skip ahead or actually let me just go ahead and uh, get started from here. So basically, we will be creating workspace. So a workspace is going to basically have a lot of channels underneath and in each channel, you'll be able to talk to um, your team members for specifics. So for example, a channel for general chat, a channel for news and announcements and so on. But a, this is all going to be underneath a workspace. Now, some people, if they want to contact uh, specific clients, they can create multiple workspaces and each workspace is going to be for one specific client. This is one way to go about it. Uh, but there are also different ways to use it. But I'm just going to go ahead and create my first workspace by clicking on here. And it's going to take us through the steps to create one, which is giving it uh, a name and then setting up a few settings. So here is going to be what's the name of uh, your company or team. So basically, uh, since it's uh, the free version, you will be able to create only one workspace, I believe. So... Uh, you, will, you would want to name it something like your company name, or you can just go ahead and name it whatever you want, to be honest. We, I'm just going to name it example workspace because my mind is kind of blank right now with any ideas. So I'm just click, uh, going to click on next. And here is going to be adding your name and profile photo to help your team members to recognize you. Very simple stuff. Add your name and the profile picture uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and click on next. I'm not going to change this. Uh, and here you can go ahead and actually just add all the coworkers that you want to have in here. This could be your clients. This could be your team members or both. So you can actually go ahead and add them from here or we can just go ahead and skip this and do this a little bit later on. Okay, completely up to you. I'm just going to skip this right now and I will show you how to do it later on. Uh, and by the way, just so you know, you can actually differentiate between team members and clients uh, within the settings. And I will tell you how to do so as well. So just click on skip or add completely up to you. So here is going to be, I believe, creating um, your first uh, channel. So I will just go into name it general uh, chat. Click on next. And then I'm just going to go ahead and continue with the free version. If you want to upgrade right away, then you can just feel free to do so. Uh, I will just start with free version. And I will do maybe later because I don't really need uh, the tour. So basically, this is going to be the workspace. Uh, like I said, if you want to create multiple workspaces just uh, to, for each client, then I believe you'll need to upgrade but uh, I don't prefer to use that method anyway. Uh, and then you have your channels here. So we have the general chat. Uh, we have the general already. And we have a random channel, which I will remove. 
And then we have the people here, so we can direct message all the people right away from here. So you can just go ahead and click on a specific person and you can direct message a specific person, uh, which is going to be great if you want to have, um, you know, more private converse conversations with each person that is in uh, your Slack account. So a few things that you need to note each um let's see so each channel you can actually set things up for so for example i'm just going to uh go ahead and remove this channel so it's not leave we go to view channel details we go to settings and then we delete this channel uh, and click on yes permanently delete this channel i only need one general chat so i'm just going to remove this one and keep the one that i have just created so we just go ahead and delete. Okay, apparently I can delete this one. So I'm just going to delete the one that I have just created. Uh, view channel settings, delete channel. Yes, permanently delete. Okay, so we have general chat. Usually you would just leave this as it is, but let's add another channel, create a new channel, and we will just give it the name announcements. And uh, if you want to invite external people, you can do so, but you will need to go ahead and upgrade to Pro. I'm just going to leave it as it is. You can always just invite your uh, own people here. So I'm just going to click on Next. Make sure this is public or private, depending on what you want it to be. You could create channels for each individual person and make it private and specify who can chat in there if you want it uh, to use this way. I'm just going to make it public so that everyone within this example workspace can view the messages or type them uh, whatever they want in the channel which we will set up in a sec uh, and here we will need to add people so you just you know add people from here i'm just going to skip for now uh, and by the way i forgot to mention if you want to actually add your co-workers uh, after you skip that step you can always just do it from here add co-workers and you can just copy invite link send it to them or add them uh, by their email addresses uh, now, you have the huddle section, which is going to be um, a voice chatting section, and this is going to be by channel. So announcements, if you start this, is going to be in announcements. I'm just going to, uh, can I just move this up? I'm pretty sure I can, I just kind of forgot how to. Anyway, so uh, next, we will need to set things up. For example, if you want to set up channels so that only specific people can chat in specific channels for example this announcements uh, we don't really want everyone to speak in this uh, channel because it's just announced closed tip because we don't really want people talking in, in the announcements channel so we can just go ahead and view, view channel details and we can just go to uh, the settings uh, or about description created by files let me just find it. I'm pretty sure it was here. Change to a private. No, okay. This this is not it. How did you? Oh, hold on. Wait. I'm. I kind of forgot. For, for some reason, my just my brain froze. How to uh, make? Sh what I'm trying to do is make only specific people text in this channel, but I kind of forgot how to do so. Wait. Okay. So apparently, I did not forget how to do it, but for some reason, this specific channel just is not having it but you can see for the general channel for example we can click here and we can go to settings and now you can see posting permissions we can click on edit and we can make it so that everyone can post or everyone except guests or only admins or admins plus specific people that you can just uh, specify here we can just make it admins only and we can change the name to announcements if you want we can keep this as general if this problem also happens to you Disable threads, which is basically replying to the posts that uh, you have posted. People, even the ones that are not admins, they can reply to it. If you want to keep this on, it's up to you. And if you want to allow the everyone here and channel mentions, if you are familiar with Discord, it's pretty much the same. Click on save changes and now only admins can speak in here. Again, huddle is going to be the voice chat and here you can set up the, if you go to settings, you can set up the huddles and who can actually go ahead and uh, join. So you can keep creating channels and adding co-workers. 
Uh, and this is pretty much how to communicate in here. And you can always, by the way, customize more stuff uh, in here. So if you go just click on the workspace, you have preferences, which is going to be more of your theme settings. If you want it to be light or dark, if you want to change how it looks like and that type of stuff. Uh, but uh, there are more uh, stuff here. If save, save settings. You can set up the audio and video and all of those things. Make sure that they are all set. Uh, and also, don't forget to go to the tools and settings and you can go ahead and click on customize workspace or workspace settings. I mean, and you have plenty of things to work with. You have do not disturb, you have permissions, you have authentication and a lot of things to set up. Uh, just, you know, keep adding channels, keep adding co-workers. Co and if you want to use the method where you just create a new workspace you can also do that if you want um, and this is pretty much how to use slack to have communication with your team members or clients uh, it's very easy and simple to use and navigate uh, and you also have this canvas by the way which is very cool where you can just have a blank canvas or have your ideas brainstorming sessions all in one place so with that being said, this is pretty much how to use Slack for communication. I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.